Hey what's going on guys, Leafs fan here and today what I have for you guys on the screen is an EASHL gameplay but to be honest I'm not really going to be talking about the gameplay too too much but uh, oh, man I I just can't wait to have this weekend over with guys I know not a lot of people will say that but I've been so busy with work this weekend um, I've been working 8 hour shifts all weekend long and I am just tired uh, basically I work at a Tim Hortons and I've been baking on the weekends which is a really tiring job because uh, the weekends are definitely our busiest days of, of the week so Saturday Sunday uh, basically what I do is I just make all the donuts and stuff like that muffins and oh, the demand for all that food is just unbelievable and I'm just absolutely so tired after this weekend I'm glad it's over I'm glad I don't work until like Thursday this week but yeah I assume I am getting promote it to baker or weekend baker at least shortly because uh we don't really have a weekend baker right now uh we're, we're working on finding someone else so i don't know if i'm actually going to be promoted but my manager has been talking to me about potentially becoming a weekend baker which will be pretty cool in the sense that i'll get more pay and it's pretty chill because you have like an assistant with you and that'll most likely be one of my buddies so we'll just like be in the back chilling making donuts and stuff so that's a lot more chill than dealing with bitchy customers all day and no offense but yeah so hopefully that happens but man I'm just dead after this weekend so it'll be good though if I do become a baker um, I'll be prepared for this and I'll hopefully have more endurance when it comes to baking on weekends anyways guys what I want to talk about here quickly is just this gameplay basically we're down 4 nothing in the first period we're thinking about quitting uh, nine seconds left. I just want to get to this really quick because as you're going to see off this face off here, the puck gets thrown down into their zone. I'm going to throw it on net and then our centerman is just going to dive at the net and that is a bit of a cheap goal but you know what, we will take it because we were pretty aggravated at being down 4 nothing that early in the first period. But anyways guys, what I want to talk about is the NHL lockout. So hopefully... This doesn't last very long, but the NHL lockout is definitely a hot topic right now. Uh, it's been confirmed now that there is a lockout. Uh, that I guess they could still work on a deal. Uh, it may not even be for the whole season, which I'm hoping. Uh, I don't really recall this, but I know there was a lockout during the, ninth, the 1995 NHL season, and they did get back halfway through the season, so hopefully it ends up like that and not like uh, what happened about seven years ago, I think. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't end up like that, because if it does, I don't even know what I'm going to do with myself for the whole entirety of the NHL season. But luckily, I do have the Ottawa 67s here in town, so I'll probably just go there and watch some 67s games, which the 67s are actually going to be playing where the Sens play this year, uh, because where the Ottawa 67s play, their arena is going through renovations right now. So they can't really play there this year. So they're going to be playing at Scotiabank Place, which is kind of a bummer. Because uh, you guys don't know where that is. It's pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. So it's going to be a mission to get there. As before, when I would go to Ottawa 67's games, um, it, you know, it would be a nice casual half an hour drive downtown with uh, not as much traffic. But the traffic going to Scotiabank Place is brutal. It's about... Oh, a good hour in traffic, and it's, it's just a pain in the ass. So I don't really go see too many Sens games, partially because of that and because it's so damn expensive. But, uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. It, if there is no NHL season this year, I'm probably going to start following football quite a bit. So I guess my question for the comment section below would be, uh, what are you guys going to do if there's no NHL season? Or what are you guys going to do until there is NHL hockey, if they do get things figured out? So I just want to know what you guys are going to watch. Like, If you're going to watch a different sport, let me know. If you're going to watch a different hockey league, let me know which league you're going to watch. Or if you're just not going to watch anything, just let me know, you know? Anyways, guys, uh, this video is coming to an end here. As you see, we brought the game up into overtime here. And uh, I guess stopped at the line there trying to do a deke. But as you see off the faceoff here, puts it through the uh, centerman's legs, and that will do it. And that is how we win this one. A great comeback there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of EASHL. 
I will be back with more videos this week. Don't forget to leave a like, guys, and have a good one, and peace.